even though there are no cars parked here at the moment, this area outside of the South Residential Village Halls is usually packed with cars parked illegally. Adam, tell us more. That's right, Gina. After students living in Nutmeg and Laurel Hall come home for a weekend, they put their cars here, they put their flashers on, and they bring their groceries, their bags, everything into their resident halls. Well, they're expecting not to get a ticket. That might not be the case. You have to remember, any time a vehicle is parked on campus in a hazardous position that creates a hazardous condition, we have to give a ticket, and that's exactly why we do that there. Now, first of all, we have the construction trailers in the area there. We also have construction vehicles, which are significantly bigger than shuttles, that have to operate in that area. So, you know, certainly we understand the plight of students and trying to park and get their groceries up. Village Road, right in front of uh, Nutmeg and Laurel, tends to be a straightaway. It's easier for the shuttle and easier for some of the construction vehicles to work their way around. The minute you move back towards uh, low rise and high rise, uh, not only do you have curves there, which makes it more difficult for the vehicles, but you also have the construction trailers and some of those spots are reserved specifically for some of the, uh, um, the, uh, the managers and the engineers of the construction company that are building the science center. So that's why we're a little more stringent in that area. If you feel like you've gotten this ticket unjustly, then you can do something about it. The biggest issue we have with the appealing process is that it's not done timely. You have 10 days to appeal a parking ticket. Um, what you don't want to do is take that ticket off your car, put it in your glove box, forget about it for a month, and then come in and appeal it. The process is very, very stringent, and we do get people that appeal parking tickets. Do it within the 10 days. That's the easiest way to address any parking ticket where you feel that you, it may have been, you know, been issued an error. And we leave you with this one tip. If you illegally park one of those, then you're getting one of these. In Willimantic, Adam Wurtzell. And Gina Bullard, hoping we can prevent you from getting one of these.